I had a dream that I was in some world. I don't know if it was another dimension or if it was the future Earth or what. I don't know. But all of a sudden, I was in the body of myself that was in that world. Like the way that I am conscious right now in this world was all of a sudden in me in that world. And so I saw my granddaughter and I went to pick her up and we were looking out the window and I saw these massive eagles. Clear as day, they were eagles. It was a male and a female and I had a knowing of that. And they were beautiful and they were just flying in the sky. And I said, oh, wow, look at those beautiful eagles. I said something like that and I, I was thinking about how where I live at, there are eagles as well. And it's this guy who couldn't believe me. Many of us have seen them. I mean, they literally fly all over the place. And this one guy, though, he didn't believe me. And in the dream, I was thinking, I wonder, is that guy going to believe me now? And then I went outside because I noticed that outside didn't look like it did here. And I was like, what's going on? And when I went outside, it was beautiful flowers and a whole bunch of very beautiful green valleys, like green grass, green valleys of grass, like not hills, not mountains, but small valleys of green grass in our yard and across. Like it went on and on and on into other people's yards and everything. And it was like that in the backyard. And then we went to the front yard and I was just amazed. And I was just because I was from the consciousness that I'm in now. And I was like, what on earth is this? This is not my house. Like, what is going on? And I didn't understand what was going on. And then all of a sudden, this truck, huge semi truck just flew over our heads and landed on the green grass and just kept driving to go to his destination. And when he was landing, I looked into it. And I saw as a male driving and I was completely in shock. Like, what is going on? This man is driving a truck in the sky and it just landed. What is happening? And I turned and that's when I saw my oldest daughter outside. And she was just laughing and playing with her daughter, my granddaughter. And I was like, did you see that? Did you see that massive semi truck fly over us? And she was like, yeah, like, what's the big deal? Like, she was looking at me like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, what on earth? I said, that should be on the news. Like, everybody should know about that. That's going to make this area famous that a guy can make his truck fly. And she was looking at me like I was crazy. Like, what are you talking about? And she just kept laughing at me like, what is wrong with you? And she was like, yeah, I saw the truck. And she was like, isn't that the same truck over there? And it was this other semi truck. And I said, no, that's not the truck. It was different than that. And then all of a sudden, these wild animals started walking down the street like it was nothing. I was like, what is going on? This wild animals. (laughs) What the first one I remember seeing was a flamingo. It was beautiful and it needed help with something. It has something on it. And I had a knowing that it was a female flamingo. I just knew that. And she needed help with something she had on her and she wanted me to help her. But I was kind of freaking out and I was getting away from her because I was scared she was going to hit me or something. And she went over to my oldest daughter and she helped her like it was nothing. And I was like, what are you doing? It's a flamingo. And I was telling her to get away from it. And she was like laughing at me like, what are you talking about? And she just helped the flamingo. And then I saw a wolf and I started freaking out like there's a wolf. This wolf is just out here like this. What is going on? And I say wolf, but honestly, I'm not sure if it was a wolf. It looked like a different species. And I was freaking out again, like there's a wolf just walking down here, walking past us like it's nothing. And I thought it was going to bite me. And I told my oldest daughter to get her daughter and get in the house and let's hurry up and get in the house. And she was just cracking up laughing like, what is wrong with you? And that's when it hit me in a dream. And I said, I'm not supposed to be here. This is not my home. I'm somewhere else. And here they have cars just flying in the sky and they have wild animals just walking by and they're friends. I had a knowing like they were friends with humans 
and they wasn't violent or aggressive or dangerous. I saw other animals too, but I don't know what kind of animals they were because there were different types of animals in this world. Even the flamingo that I saw did not look like a flamingo from our world. The neck was way thicker and the body was made different. It definitely didn't look like the skinny flamingos that we're used to seeing here on earth. And But it was coming to me like I'm not supposed to be here. And I was just realizing that all of a sudden and that's when I awoke. As soon as I was awaking, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. I can't remember his words exactly, but I know he was telling me about my broken heart. And he was saying that it was not a mistake that my heart was broken. And he told me to hold on. And let me just say about that. Before I went to sleep, I did anoint my head. And I was just like crying out to God about how horrible this world is. And that's why my heart was broken. I was thinking about all these people in this world and their worldly pursuits. And honestly, to be honest and candid, I was also thinking about a lot of people who are professing 144,000 members. I'm being honest. And I was thinking about how they want to be Benny Hens on the earth. And they want to take all this glory and their focus on their own glory Instead of giving glory to God, they have these pursuits to be something big, someone that all the people flock to. And I was thinking about that. And I said to God, I have no desire for that, God. I have no desire. That doesn't interest me at all whatsoever. My only interest is getting to the end of this world and seeing a world of peace where there's no more demons, where there's no more heartache, where there's no need to do healings because everyone's healed. There's no need to spread the gospel because everyone knows the gospel. There's no different interpretations of the gospel. And I was just thinking about many things like that. I'm not going to go over everything I was thinking about, but I was telling God that the 144,000 to me is nothing more than a means to an end. We rise up, we take back the kingdom, we get things back to the way that it's supposed to be with peace on earth, amen, the rise of God's kingdom, the glory of Jesus Christ, not our glory. And I said, God, that's it. That's the only thing that I'm concerned with. I was like, you know, I look forward to the rapture and everything like that, but I feel like let's go, let's get on with it. And let's just take back the kingdom. I have no desire for this stuff. And I was just like, God, I just want to get it done. Then I began to wonder about how I would even fit in in God's kingdom. Because I said, God, my whole life is wrapped around ministry. It's all I think about ministry, leading souls to Christ, trying to get revelations and things so I can help lead people to Christ. You know, let's take back the kingdom. And I said, what am I going to do in the world when we no longer have these needs? And I said, am I going to be a painter? I was just like, how am I going to fit in, God? Like, what is my purpose? So I was just heartbroken, just thinking about all of these different things. And that's why the Holy Ghost said that to me, that my heart being broken was a part of my destiny, that my heart is supposed to be broken, and that the Holy Spirit told me to hold on. And then he also told me, that rain was coming, that rain was coming down on me. Praise be to God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Anyway, that was a dream that I had. God bless you all. Bye.